Hey everyone, Bruce from Bruce Videography Services. Not the best name I know, but works for me. I am a videographer from Long Island, New York. Creating this video today to help bands and musicians seek a video creator for their first music video. I'm gonna kind of riff uh, through some common questions I get when people are trying to hire me for the first time. So let's get right to it. So the most common question I get from new clients is how much do you charge? It's a fair question, you should ask it. Not the easiest question for a video creator to answer because most of the time uh, new clients don't have an idea for a video or a script or what they even want to achieve with a music video. That would be tip number one, is have an idea. Even if you think it's far-fetched and you don't think this person is gonna be able to create it for you, just have it out, have it ready. Sometimes I refer new people to other video creators because I know they might be able to do it. So don't be afraid to ask those questions, like can you do this, uh, is this possible? I, I personally would rather have that than no idea at all. Your ideas represent who you are and what your band's about and it's your art and you should express yourself. It's gonna make for a better video. If you don't have a budget for a high quality, like super expensive video, you have to shoot um, with the resources you have available to you. If you don't have locations, if you don't have actors, you don't have props, take that into account when you're creating this idea because locations cost a lot of money. Um, whether that be permits or shooting at a private venue, these things cost money. Um, I've been on video shoots where people are paying like $4,000 for an eight hour shoot at, this, at these locations. So just be wary of that. Sometimes you might have to pay actors, which can be from $50 to $100 a day. Then there's a listing fee on some of these websites like Backstage, that's like $25 to list an ad just to find actors for your project. So. All this thing takes time and money, so my best advice to you would be create a concept with the resources available to you. Find friends that have locations, find friends willing to be in your video, and um, just have this all ready when you talk to your videographer because it's only gonna be that much cheaper and cost effective for you. Also, when you have your concept ready, it's gonna tell your video creator, it's gonna give them an idea of how long it's gonna to take to create, whether it's gonna take one, two, three days to shoot, how long it's gonna to take to edit. For example, if somebody comes to me and says, my band, we're just gonna do a live performance fee, uh, piece, dark room, strobe lights, uh, that's it, there's no story to it. I'll probably say, you know, we can shoot that in one day, 200 to shoot and about 125 to edit. And boom, that's it. You know, it's very simple. I can tell you right off the bat, that's the price. Now, if you have something that's story driven and you have a live performance too, that's probably gonna take one to two days to shoot. So I can tell you right then, all right, that's two setups. That's probably gonna be like three, $400 to shoot and probably $200 to edit because we have extra footage, we have extra breakdown times. There's a lot of cost to video making. So having an idea about what you want before contacting your video creator will help you in the long run, keep you under budget, if that makes sense. Another question I get from musicians or bands is, do I need to have a pre-recorded song to create a video? And I would say most of the time you should. Uh, it's gonna make the video look a lot better because when you have a pre-recorded song, you can play that back during the filming and everybody can limp sync and worry about the performance and not worrying about how to play a song that's in their head. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's a lot easier to achieve, especially in the editing. It will save you time with your editing. So if you're telling me, I have a song, we have a rough mix of it, but it's not our final mix, um, and I have to sync that final mix to the edit, that's gonna be a lot more time your editor is gonna have to take in post to uh, worry about limp sync and certain chord changes in your guitar, drum fills. So I would suggest uh, more often than not, have your song ready before you are ready to shoot a video. So another question I get is where can I find a good location for my video? Like I said before, that costs money. And if, but if you're willing to spend the money, there are resources available to you. There are studios that have like 
cool backdrops, LED screens, green screens, lighting equipment all ready to go. So you just have to bring your, your camera and your talent and you're, you're in and out. It's, it's pretty cool. I, I, I haven't done it personally, but I've seen people on shoots do it and it, it looks really cool. I would love to do one one day. Uh, if you're looking for like outdoor locations, um, you might have to go through the New York State uh, Film Commission uh, to get a permit. You might have to go through the town to get a permit. If it's private property, you have to contact the, uh, the owner of the property itself, uh, get permission. And most times you might even have to have uh, insurance, which your videographer might not have. Um, or you might have to buy it yourself for the day, which can be pretty pricey. Where can I find actors or can you find actors? I can personally help you find actors. I have no problem with that, um, but that will cost you extra money. If you don't have your own actors, there are ways to find actors. You can go to Facebook groups and there are people willing to act in stuff for free. Or you can go onto a website like backstage.com where they charge you $25, I think it is, to post an ad for an actor. And there are people willing to do it for free. Um, but you can get some professional, like trained actors to come on set for a couple hours and, and help you out. I find that a budget of 50 or $100 a day for an actor is, you, you'll get a lot of hits. And it might be worth the $125 investment to go find some good talent. You can also go the free route. It might take you a little bit longer, uh, but it is achievable. So you got those routes, you can do it yourself. You can ask a videographer to do it for you. Not all of them are willing to do it. Another question I kind of, I get asked this uh, quite a bit. Um, can I, can you fly a drone for the video? And I personally can, I'm, I'm a certified 107 pilot. Drone work is becoming very common in the videography industry. It seems to be like a, a something you have to do nowadays to, to be a videographer. It's more likely your videographer can fly a drone, but just keep in mind that there are a lot of drone laws that prevent uh, drone operators from filming in a lot of places. Um, you can't fly in state parks, you can't fly near preserves, you can't fly within like six miles of an airport, you can't fly over most cities, you can't fly over streets, you can't fly over bridges, so just be wary of that. Have, have an idea uh, of what you want to shoot and if your videographer is knowledgeable about drone law, he should be able to tell you right away or within five minutes whether or not you can fly in a particular location. Um, I usually have an app, that uh, an air map, it's what it's called, it's called air map. Um, I'll take a look at the air map, uh, just enter the address in and see if it's uh, a flyable area or not. So, and more than, like, more than half the time it's a flyable area, as long as it's not too close for an airport or over a state park or whatever, usually pretty good to go. So another question I usually get from clients is, how long will it take to edit my video once we're done? And that all depends on the concept. If we're doing a live performance piece, that could take probably one to three days. If you're doing a scripted video, um, a little bit longer because you have the performance piece and then you have the acting parts, which is a little bit more in intricate. Um, special effects is really lengthy, like um, not even the amount of work, it's just like the load times and render times for some of these things. And you have to render things and export them and then put them back into the project. So VFX, effects of any kind usually take a lot of time. So I would say if you're on a schedule or you have a deadline, again, have a concept, have an idea, a possible storyboard for your video ahead of time. And your editor should be able to tell you almost right away like how long it's gonna take. So just to go over everything again, just try to have an idea for your video. Try to create an idea uh, that fits within the resources you have available to you because it's only gonna be more cost effective and uh, easier. Try to lock down locations and actors because that's gonna be a lot video, uh, easier for your video creator to, as well. And it's gonna be, again, more cost effective for you. If you need drone footage at all, I would give uh, the shot list of what you need in the air for your videographer so that he or she can go into their air, ma air maps and figure out a way to shoot it without um, 
breaking the law, which is very important. I can't say it enough, just having a clear idea about what you want to achieve with your video is going to be your greatest asset uh, with hiring somebody for your video. Uh, you're going to be able to get a price point. You're going to be able to establish a schedule, what you can and can't do. And uh, it's only going to make things a thousand times easier for you. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully this uh, helped you out. Hopefully you're going to find somebody real cool to uh, create your video. Hopefully you're both going to create something really cool together. It's going to help your brand, your music, or whatever. Um, if this helped out, like, subscribe, or whatever. I don't care. I think my mom only watches my videos anyway, so uh, later. <laughs>